Hey, what's going on? This is Chase. Hey, so me and Jace are here at my garage and we have the project that we're going to do together and it involves a pressure washer, electric pressure washer, a water filter for your car, a hose reel, and a bunch of accessories to go along with it. So Jace, you ready to help me? Yep. All right, let's get to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up uh, mounting the CR spotless system onto the wall here. I have a dedicated wall right next to my garage door. And I located the studs already. One right here and one over there. So uh, in order to mount the reel, the hose reel, which looks like this, it's a blue reel. Uh, I'm going to have to mount a 2 by I don't know, 2 by 4 yeah. piece of plywood 3 quarter inch thick right here next to the charger so we're going to remove all this junk but first this is kind of is it rough right it's kind of a little rough right yeah so so we're going to actually sand it with the electric sander so i'll have jace do that and we're going to get our safety gear right we need to get our safety goggles and we need all that stuff and your respirator you ready yeah all right grab the cord He's gonna be blind, look at him. Hey, look at that, it's Jace. What's up, Jace? Yeah. All right, you got your safety gear on, right? So here it is, the painted panel, now mounted to the wall. So from here, we're going to start mounting the CR Spotless filter system right here, the hose reel, and then the stainless steel shelf along with the electric pressure washer mounted on top. And then I have a plug here, dedicated circuit, 20 amp circuit for the electric pressure washer. Here it is, Tesla Red. All right, here is the Cranzel K1322TS. 
Here's the spotless bracket, which will hold those two resin tank filters. The Cox hose reel. And the stainless steel shelf where the pressure washer will rest. And then what else am I missing? Oh yeah, here's the hose. Here's the high pressure hose for the uh, pressure washer. That will be going, uh, I'm gonna wind that onto the Cox reel right here. So all these pieces will be mounted onto the red panel. All right, here we go. I just mounted the bracket here to the board. How I set it up was uh, without doing a direct line out the wall I have a quick disconnect that I use and I pull the hose from the other side of this wall here and I connect it with a quick disconnect and it goes through this check valve and this what this check valve does is it allows the water just to to stay right here and won't come out of this this bib right here so from here the water goes to this three-way ball valve it's a three-quarter inch so all the piping here is all three-quarter inch so this is stainless going to a stainless pipe into the CR spotless system. And if you're not uh, familiar with the CR spotless system, what it does is it pretty much filters the water so that when you're done rinsing your car and you leave it alone in the sun, it won't dry up and have spots all over it. So it helps so you don't, you don't have to get a rag or a chamois and dry your car afterwards. So that kind of speeds up the process of washing your car. And so from the CR spotless, it goes through a check valve here and this check valve allows no backflow coming through to the other side so then I don't get like a mixture of the uh, unfiltered and filtered water. So the flow goes up and around and up into the Kranzel pressure washer and then the pressured water comes through here, this hose right here, and then into the Cox reel. From the Cox reel it comes out into the hose that I could pull out here and then I connect it with the quick disconnect to the uh, pressure washer wand. There you go. So pretty much connects there that way. And then here's this cool holder. This is the last touch where you just keep your uh, wand there when you're done using it. 
So pretty much this setup um, from Obsessed Garage, I think retails almost for like 2,500 or almost $3,000, but I pieced make it together and um, bought things separately over time. And I accumulated all these parts throughout the years. And then I just finally put everything all together on the wall. So yeah, it's a great setup. I've used it a few times. Um, last thing I need to do is shorten that power cord to that um, dedicated circuit I have there for this pressure washer. It's a 20 amp. They're, they recommend 20 amp because uh, you want you might blow a 15 amp fuse or breaker if you have multiple things plugged into it. But so anyways, I used, uh, what did I use here? These are uh, threaded um, compression feedings to three quarter inch piping. And then um, I sweated these these joints together with solder. And then this is all, this is a stainless hose. So this is pretty crazy. This is really expensive. It's like $149 just for this piece of hose right here. It's nuts. And then it quick disconnects into the pressure washer itself. And then you can see how I mounted the pressure washer here onto the, the shelf itself. They have vibration mounts here, rubber vibration mounts, so it reduces the vibration when it uh, kicks on. So that's pretty cool right there in itself. And then there's a handle on this side to reel it up. And then here I have a monitor for the TDS to read what the uh, um, particles per inches on the water there. And then that's about it.